just just the process it's no accident you're here at this time of great awakening you may do things differently you may be showing up in ways that trigger other people into ascension because that's part of the trickster archetype of it right is that we're all reflections and so when you are actually showing up as your authentic self you have the ability to trigger awakening and it's not always comfortable for other people it's not always comfortable for yourself to lean into being your true self to lean into being your authentic self by nature you're a heretic <laughs> in a culture of conformity but you don't belong to that because you're here to lead the new earth and this is the time this is the time of ascension this is your confirmation you're not crazy it's okay to be the weird the weirdos the ones that were the misfits the ones that were hidden behind the scenes doing the great work in the alchemy you were in the shadows for a while in the hermit phase of awakening because you were doing the shadow work on the inner planes on the astral planes on the spiritual planes and dimensions and now you're emerging you're emerging as your true self you're stepping out into the sun you're stepping into the light you're stepping into your gifts you've been a shadow worker so that you could be a light worker because it's both one and the same right golden threads golden timelines trust the visions trust your guides trust your holy ancestors of the sacred flame trust in yourself trust in source because they're one in the same trust in source trust in yourself because they're one in the same trust in source trust in yourself because you're one and the same with source on equal playing field now you are co-creating with divine forces doesn't matter what they say who's they anyway there's no separation reclaiming our power reclaiming our sovereignty coming back to center is coming back to source life starts to become this meditation you're starting to be more playful in present real, realizing the value in it in the experience in experiences we're moving into the age of ether this is why technology is rapidly evolving because currency is consciousness in this new age in this new dawn of humanity this new time that we're in this quantum manifestation <laughs> is very real like what was once before not possible until now is now possible what is possible can you even imagine what's possible in a day do you know how many millionaires are being made every day do you know how many dreams are coming true every day now do you realize who you are do you realize how blessed you are do you realize that you are in the right place at the right time when you're in alignment with source so you've been tuning in fine-tuning your vibration so you can be ahead of the curve in the momentum of conscious creation writing the script so there's a popular debate going on in the spiritual awakening realms with like various spiritual teachers and influencers and so on and so forth that the law of attraction doesn't work and it's all just like a bunch of hype and a mainstream thing yeah basically like it started going mainstream right because it's actually like an ancient metaphysical principle of like of rea of reality creation right that vibrational resonance creates your reality and that if you change your vibrational resonance you change your reality because you change who you're being and you live within the hologram of yourself you live as within so without 
and it's your vibration, right? So what they're really playing at is that if people are spiritual bypassing and not doing the shadow work and going in and feeling these uncomfortable feelings and healing through them and clearing them so that their consciousness is open up to the point where they can then manifest, then yeah, it doesn't work. It's, and also if they're saying, you know, you're not taking action towards that, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? We're here on another playing field now. We're here and we're seeing all these different perspectives on reality creation and we're actually directly experiencing it real time beyond the labels of what these teachers are trying to tell us. Okay, when you're actually experiencing it, you understand what those teachings that are calling them by different things are pointing to. But you're not underneath them, okay? <laughs> They're like people when when the teaching is made more about the teacher than the teaching. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's some like weird things that can come up with that, right? And 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 everybody has their opinion on reality. So like tuning directly in to your direct channel to source is so important at this time to literally with everything tune into your own intuition and I was saying this morning I'm like reality creation is literally the most fascinating things thing as creator beings and I definitely have experienced that by doing inner work to heal by by clearing by doing the processes of shadow work that I have definitely experienced a lot of releasing resistance. I think that those are two, there's different ways of saying the same thing. And some people are coming out of more resistance. Some people are at a different, like are coming, are like more in the surrendered space. And so it's like where you're at in the spectrum with that healing process or that, that letting go. Because when you feel it, you're not resisting it. If you're judging it, trying to avoid it, right? Then you're actually resisting it. But if you're allowing it, then the feeling moves through you. And then you're able to feel the low, which allows your vibration to naturally rise. And when your vibration naturally rises, you sync up with more of yourself, more of your, you sync up with your true self, you sync up with source. And when you sync up with source, you get inspired downloads. And suddenly you are guided. Somebody on this, on this the channel, they're like, this is an inspiring message, but what are you telling me to do nothing? Yeah, I am telling you to do nothing. See how long you can actually do nothing for. It's really hard. Because doing nothing is actually sitting there in a state of absolute receptivity where you're not thinking all of these thoughts and with all this mental energy and anxiety. That's actually how challenging it is to do nothing. <laughs> most people think doing nothing is being lazy, but most people don't know how to do nothing. When they're sitting there doing nothing, they're actually doing a whole lot. There's a whole, and trust me, I exper still experience this all the time. There's a lot of mental energy up in the head. But as soon as you drop into the heart, and you drop into that no mind space, you're pure source energy. You don't gotta worry about being lazy, okay? That's not who you are. I don't know what self-development video you watched, but you are a powerful being who's directly connected to the source of all creation, who create, can create your own reality. And yes, you can do the inner work. And yes, I know these people are like, oh, if this stuff doesn't, because this is the blah, 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 blah. But like, if you tune into that, if you tune into your own connection, you literally have the power of magic at your fingertips. So you're not gonna be lazy. If you can actually do nothing, if you can actually meditate and just tap into that state of pure receptivity, it's like plugging into an electrical outlet. You're gonna burst out of that with an inspiration. You're, you're gonna be naturally moved to take the inspired actions that that version of you would take. And yes, at, at times there can be that like pushing through that resistance and da, 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 but th this is another phase. It's when you break out of resistance, you don't need to, that's, those self-development concepts no longer apply. They're of an other paradigm. This is a different paradigm. 
when you're existing in a new paradigm, it's a different, like different rules apply, right? When you're in this paradigm, you just tune in, seesaw resistance, let go, do nothing, bask in the sun, feel it. But when you do actually recharge and guess what? You'll get like upgraded. You'll get like integrated. You'll get like ascension codes. You'll get downloads. You'll get inspired. Like you'll naturally like move out of the meditation of that and in, into your everyday life with like, insp you'll be like, things will start to happen because you'll be animating that version of yourself. This is actually what Neville Goddard was speaking to with the law of assumption when he was speaking to changing your identity, right? When you shift the version of you that you're being in the hologram, you start to change your reality because you're being that version of you that would be living in the vibrational match of that reality. Instead of trying to get into that reality, you start being the version of you that would live in that reality as if you already were. And that's exactly what you're doing. That's why these timeline shifts are happening. That's why the sun is rising. That's why the channeling state is opening up. That's why you have direct connection. You can see things on your awakening from all these different perspectives. But you are your own guru. You are your own God. This is a collective consciousness. This is a collective shift in consciousness. And when I say you, I mean capital Y you, like the whole, like you. Including your higher self, including the divine, including your guides, like this wholeness of you actually has the power to guide your own life. Imagine that. Imagine that you were actually worthy enough. Imagine that you were actually empowered enough to lead yourself. And imagine that in this new earth leadership, that what we do is we actually follow the divine impulses of inspiration and lead by example. We don't try to control other people. We don't try to persuade them. We don't try to make it happen for what they're blah, 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 blah. We just tune in and we lead our own creation and let that be an example. And then from that place of magnetism, attract those who are in alignment with that, those who are cooperating with that, those who are co-creating with that frequency. Because then you don't need to control anything in the external. You can literally do this Jedi inner work and live from that place. And then through that, you inspire and awaken that light in other people. You inspire them through your example. And this is how we've moved out of the old paradigm <laughs> of the pedestal to this of equanimity, to this of living from our heart center, to this from awakening our heart doing the hard work to open up our heart. This is what was strong for me this morning was literally going in and connecting with the suffering of other beings who have been experiencing scarcity in their lives, who have been experiencing not being received by other people, feeling disconnected from your tribe. Like, and I went in and my heart and I felt, up, like, felt that in the collective and I literally just started drawing that energy up like an electric current through my lower chakras into my heart and just transmuting and opening my heart and like then sending out and blessing all beings with liberation from suffering. May all beings be free of suffering. And our prayers literally have power to create. This is what they don't want you to know, but this is what they do want you to know. <laughs> no, they want you to know it. Your guys want you to know it. But any other beings that are not of that source frequency, that's the last thing they want you to know. All beings that are of source frequency, that's about the only thing they want you to know. Is that you actually are that blessed. You actually are that divine. You actually are that powerful. Anything else? Trick of the mind. Illusion. Maya. The game. The matrix. Call it what you want. 
and now you can see through it. Now you can understand how these cords of attachment work. You can understand the dynamics of the matrix. You can understand reality creation principles. You can understand how shadows, triggers, and blocks work. And you can understand that where your energy goes is where your attention has flowed. And you can understand that if you respond instead of reacting, that you know you are able to consciously create your reality. <laughs> yes, right. That's that's exactly the reminder I needed too. I was like, yeah. Because when we move into this state, we literally move out of our own way. We can receive messages for that we need because we're all connected. And we can tap into that frequency. And when we step out of the way, that's when you're in the channeling state. That's when you're in the flow state. When I move into this state, I'm in another state of consciousness, but I'm becoming more of myself. This is what we can all do. Whatever the way that puts you into the vortex. For me, it's doing this video. For someone else, it might be the song. It might be the reading. It might be trading. It might be investing. It might be their work. It might be their passion. It might be painting. It might be drawing. It might be writing. It might be architecting. It might be businessing. It might be arting. But whatever it is that lights you up, if you listen to anything from this channel, do it. <laughs> Just start. <laughs> Just start, go all in. I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying commit because when you energetically commit, you'll know when, what to do with your situation. You will know. And, and there are steps like I have grinded too. I get it <laughs> like, but there are steps to get liberated. Right, there, there is guidance available for this. Like it actually is available for you. Just saying, golden timelines available, available. Highest timeline available for you, available for you, available for you, <laughs> available. Highest timeline available, 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 available. <laughs> highest timeline available. I know I keep repeating this, but I think it's important. Highest timeline, highest, highest, best, version of yourself, best version of your life, the, your wildest dreams and beyond. It is possible. It is available for you. That's, that's what this new golden age is about. This is what you've been getting prepared for. Ready to be ready to be ready to be ready for. Because when you step out of the way, it just... You just flow. You can just feel the energy in the space. Expansive, rich diversity and contrast and possibility. So whatever it is, when you commit when you commit, your reality starts to change because you're trusting, because you're confident. Even when you're not, you lean in and you start building it. You start building that identity. You're on that mindset. You're on the patterns. You're becoming, you're being self-aware. That's all the, the the contrast is, the shadow and the light is, right? It's aware, it's all awareness. Awareness is the conduit. It's what all transformation, healing, all these spiritual modalities. Awareness, it's all through awareness. It all happens through awareness. It all flows through awareness. You are awareness. You are pure awareness, having a human experience. It's pretty dope. That's pretty dope when you think about it. And, and because we're pure awareness having a human experience, we're free. 
it's really that simple. And it, it doesn't seem like it's that simple. Maybe it's not that simple. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a cosmic fool. I, I feel like it is this simple. It's a process, but it is really simple. Because you are pure awareness, you are free. But how do you get to that? That's moving beyond conditions. We are trained to constantly react to conditions. That's what conditioning is. The deconditioning process is the awakening process. It's as much of an unlearning as it is a learning because it's a stripping away of all of the things that are not you, that are not you. It's a stripping away of limiting beliefs, which are the human based separation consciousness that much of the planet has been in with humanity into a more awakened state of consciousness. It's not better or worse. But if you know, you know. <laughs> because the more aware you are, how can you make a choice if you're not aware of the choice? Raising our level of awareness, raising our consciousness, raising our vibration is how we gain free will in the game of life on this material plane. As spiritual beings having a human experience, it is how you gain spiritual mastery. It is how you gain sovereignty, it is through raising your level of consciousness because then you start operating through different dimensional frequencies on different planes of creation towards unity consciousness. And the closer to unity consciousness or at one with unity consciousness, the more actual agency you have as you are embodying, not just like the classical idea of like, oh, you're ascending and then you're just gonna be in heaven. It's literally like you're here, like bringing it in like anchoring it in to a body. And so, but you're actually still creating here while you can be connected to that plane. You can even be creating from that plane. And in fact, everything already is. It's a little confusing to the ego. It's a little confusing to the the uh, limited sense of our identity of, of who we are. But there actually are these other dimensional frequencies that, that we can tap into and be creating from. Multidimensionally speaking, you are a multidimensional being. And so the more at source we are, the more at a causal place, the more at responding to our reality, the more you can step back and watch it like a movie and realize you're a character in a movie of, of being projected onto the screen of space through your consciousness and treat it sacred and treat it as a gift and come into it because it is real, but also know when to step out of what is not real. It's, it's dualistic, it's polarity. How can you get around it? You're here. <laughs> There's up and there's down, there's black and there's white, there's hot and there's cold. I just don't see how you can get around that while you're here. Like, in fact, I think that that exists for us to play with while we're here. You don't wanna be blind to it because then you go to the Arctic without a coat, <laughs> you know? but you also don't want to be defined by the conditions. So what I believe is that when, when the message was coming through, that when you realize you are pure awareness, you are free, is that you are free of the attachment, of the identification with the limited ego. You are free from the bondage of limitation, of limited thinking, which is the only thing that is limiting you but is also in belief, in subconscious, in shadow. So when you bring that into awareness, you can bring that into pure awareness. You can clear, you can heal, you can transform, you can awaken your consciousness, you can expand into this space of liminal awareness, of pure awareness, and you are free. You feel free. You have free will. You have choices in that state of consciousness. But 
we have to do the spiritual work in order to do in order to transform that that is why alchemy exists that is why the archetype of the alchemist is so prevalent for us of the alchemist and the magician because this is what we are working with magically with the elements this is what we're working with here and this is where it all comes together like a cauldron and inside of that alchemical brew is this potent concoction of source energy of all of the unique elements of creation being blended together into your reality and into your craft as well and that which you've been cultivating that unique expression that wants to come through you that unique gift that unique medicine that you are meant to share with the world with the collective consciousness to help uplift and awaken Gaia to bring heaven to earth to to be a bridge to be a pillar to be a channel for consciousness conscious creations that want to come through you you've been stewarding them like you've been saving up seeds all these special types of seeds these creative little magical seeds in your seed bank of your consciousness to plant into the garden of your life and now they're all like sprouting up like rapidly just like popping up like oh whoa like ones you even forgot about that you planted years ago you totally forgot that you're just like whoa <laughs> or even new ones they're just like seeming to just sprout like very quickly and you're like how is that happening because everything is so fertile when you do that when you've done do the alchemy you've done the alchemy you transmute and it's just like creating compost in a garden it makes everything richer and more fertile for the seeds to sprout and to bloom and for things to start creating and expanding in your reality. And it's incredible to like revel in that expansion without getting attached to the result, the outcome, and just hold that sweet spot for a while and coast as you and then write it down a little and then write it and just get into the flow. And the more you're in the flow, the more you're not so much in the crashing, the more you're more in the in life and waves are going to crash sometimes. Like we're not in control. As much as I talk about conscious creation or the channel comes through about that, you're not in control. And that's why the, the uh, whole aspect of this being able to be in the Wu way of it, being able to be stay into the receptive mode is letting go of all control. Is like completely just surrendering of like, I give myself up to you, God. I give myself up to you, divine creator, source. Like, I give my life to you. I let you guide me. I let you, I just give my life to the earth. I just, just lay on the earth and just melt. Just lay in the arms of your lover and just melt, man. Get a massage and melt. Just, just go melt. Go take a nap and just melt. Go listen to some good music and just melt. If you got a bunch of energy, maybe go dance. Just to, like get it out and then just whatever you can do, just melt. Because <laughs> when you just melt into it, you, all that restorative energy just starts flowing in. And the download comes. So thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Send it out into the YouTube universe with a comment that would be left for your fellow traveler to help inspire them. And if you feel inspired, share it with a friend. Let's make this channel go viral. And once again, thank you and many blessings on your journey.